Ah, oh, smells like the 80s. It does smell like the 80s. Now, I've got some slightly weirder ones for you. Kill boy. So we are back with Ryan in the toy room, and I asked you to um, come up with a few items that were like rarities or oddities, just something a little bit out of the ordinary, something that stands out in your collection that you wanted to show. It's pretty hard for me because most of my stuff is of the newer range, but I do have uh, some Dick Tracy figures. Nice. Uh, I think these may be Palisades, someone will know out there. I don't want to say it's Playmates, looking at the Playmates. Sc scale of them. I, I they look very Turtles-esque to me. Let me have a look, it's written on here. Ah, uh, Playmates. Yes, on the foot, Playmates. What do they say? Palisades. Which Palisades. Is the Muppets would use to be That's the Muppets. That's a thing as well. Um, like you were saying, there's not many people would have a Warren Beatty action figure in their line. I can't think of another Warren Beatty <laughs> action figure that could exist. And that's actually not a bad sculpt for Beatty. Bullworth? Did they make Bullworth action <laughs> figures? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, and then obviously El Pacino, which you wouldn't have many of them either. Anyway. No? Um, so I do have... There's probably... Uh, there's definitely some Scarface action figures out there. True. That's true. Scarface. That's... Um, but that was a really, really cool line. Yes, yes, and I'm, I'm missing a few of those, so I am chasing. So if there's anyone out there trying to sell them, you know. What? Now this is a really cool one. This is something I'm excited about because I you don't see this a lot, especially in Australia. This is a visionary. It's probably one of only two I've got. This one is pretty much complete, uh, and they have the cool sort of 3D sort of um, lent was it lenticular sort of designs on there. Yeah, like lenticular there. holograms, which were like yeah. huge on toys in the 80s. Yes, these and I've got some. Uh, so these are visionaries. I've got some supernaturals. Uh, at home, which is a similar thing, they were just like faces, like just a blank canvas, but as you turn it in the light, yes, you see either a skull or a human face. That's kind, kind of, of on the whoop, and that was kind of that was kind of on the back end of He-Man. I think those brands come out, um, trying to fill in that little void there of those toys. So these are cool, um, but yeah, they're very hard to find. And I do have one that's kind of complete, so like I'm a hero. One, my only one that survived my childhood. Oh, uh, God bless him. <sighs> the Battle Beast. Um, and you might, people might have these. These are worth a mint. They are. Uh, as you know, per figure. Uh, they used to come in, was it fire, water, and wood? They yeah, are... it was basically like a rock, paper, scissors yes, game. Yes, yes, yes. And you used to, you didn't know what they were, and then you rub this little thing on their chest there, and you saw if they were a good guy, bad guy, or indifferent. And a cool thing I learned about these recently is that these were actually in Japan a spin off of Transformers. Ah. Hence why they've got the rub symbol like Transformers do, but when they were released here, they weren't relate, they were just as their own being. Yes. Oh yeah, in the Japanese, uh, like, cartoon continuity, yeah. there was Battle Beasts in it, with the Transformers. That's pretty They were hanging out, they That's were bugs, awesome. or enemies, I forget. Yeah, and this is a little Toad Frog guy, so he's awesome, he's one of my faves from my collection, because it's my childhood, right here, the little tiny guy like that. Ah, oh, smells like the 80s. Um, here's an Acrobot, a uh, little wind-up toy. I think this was 79, come out around the time of Star Wars. We subbed it in as a Star Wars character. It's, a very, it's very R2-D2-esque. <laughs> it's like the love child of C-3PO and R2-D2. <laughs> that's, that's right. I this don't know is... how they would make that child. No, I but... don't know. They so One of them plugged themselves into the other one. Hurry! I don't want to bring it up. That's we, not going to. No, we're not going to go into that. I think he might wind up. I'm too scared to turn the cog. Yeah. Uh, because this guy's also been in the bath when we were children, so mm -hmm. he's probably messed oh, up yeah. internally. Smells like the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Smells like bubble bath. Yeah. Um, so that's a cool little one. Acrobot. I'd love to see if people have got more of these floating around. If someone did have. If you have up. one of these, if yes. you've even heard of these, comments below. Hit yes, us up. Please do. Uh, and the last one, and if not the strangest one I'm going to show you is this, and this will annoy my brothers, uh, this weird little monkey here. Uh, which I believe is 50 years old. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that is. I don't. I'd love anyone who does know to tell me. I've looked it up. I can't find it. Uh, this was my childhood at my nan's house in a toy box full of Lego. This was one of the only toys in there that we could play with. Uh, he comes apart. Oh. Let's hope he, uh, yes, he, he pulls apart. Uh, and my brothers and I used to fight to the death over having ownership of this when we went to my nan's house. And guess what? Do they know that you've got it? Guess who has it now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, nan. This this like screams of like one of like the like early Disney characters that they don't want you to know about <laughs> that's anymore. True. Yeah, that's like, true. We don't talk. We don't talk about racist monkey. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, it's yeah. almost like he should have a cigarette between his fingers yeah, there, and yeah. they've taken it out. Uh, and probably a beer can in the other hand, yeah. but yes, this is this is a great little character and it's a pride of place amongst my collection. So if you do know who this is, let me know. I'm desperate. Hit us up. Uh, Ryan, thanks for showing us some of the odder things no in your worries. collection. This has been an absolute treat. Cool, thanks for coming and joining me and uh, please don't knock anything over. Yeah, I'll try. I'm just being very easy. careful not to move much. Right. 
can you tell everyone to um, like, share, and subscribe, and to hit the bell? Ah, oh, yeah. So uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, don't hit Shane because he's fragile. I'm fragile. Just I'm just a little boy. Kill boy. <laughs>